We've hit a bit of a proverbial brick wall. Progress hasn't been made as, as expected this weekend. video that a lot of you guys have been waiting for is finally here. If you haven't been waiting and you're new here and you've just stumbled across this video, we have been doing a garden transformation in our new build home. So we're going to show you our journey, aren't we? We are. Before we get into the video, thank you so much to anybody that's watching this video right now, whether you've been subscribed for a while or whether you're new here. Make sure that you give the video a like if you do enjoy it and if you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you can come and join the fam. Should we give them a bit of time to like and subscribe for. yeah Right, so let's rewind back to end of March. Ages ago. That was going. when it was. <laughs> it's the first day of the garden renovation. I'm on my own, which is a bit of a weird start to the video, but Joe's actually gone to his dad's to pick up like a shovel and a load of other stuff. So I thought I'd just get cracking because I don't want to stress him out when today is a big day. I'm just so excited to see how it turns out. Just been out there this morning trying to get some before shots. As you can see, we've got a hill in our garden. So the main aim of this whole renovation is to actually get rid of that hill the main reason we want to get rid of it is because when we have people round, especially in summer a few wines down someone is going to roll their ankle on that hill it's pretty big and we also want to make a really nice patio area and turn that into somewhere where we can have guests we can have dinners and we've just got somewhere really nice for people to come and enjoy in the summer weekend one was to dig the footings for the wall that we're going to build which is going to be like a retaining wall for us to build on top of and it didn't go as planned did it nice. it was like it <laughs> day was one like, and yeah. you hit a brick Wall, we literally. hit before we'd even got a chance to build it. Rightio then. We've hit a bit of a proverbial brick wall. We've basically set out where we're going to be doing the footings for the wall and the steps, but very shallow. There is a load of clay which oh, is gosh. causing a lot of difficulty <laughs> to dig, so we've got to get a digger. Yeah, progress hasn't been made as, as expected this weekend. We started digging and we found like two or three inches of soil and then it was just rock hard clay. We didn't think that we would need a digger. But it turns out we do need a digger. Shows like how amateur and how naive we are. It wasn't all lost though, because we did manage to set out all of the shape and like the the areas where we yeah. needed to dig. Like where the steps were gonna go. Yeah, like. and then it was just ready for them when we got the digger. The next thing was to do was to try and source a digger. And luckily, my uncle, he has a digger that he <laughs> that he bought when he was doing his extension and it was and we were just lucky that we didn't have to rent one. Good morning, welcome back to week two of the garden renovation and today is an exciting one because we've got the digger arriving to assist us in getting down past the clay. We've got the digger for today uh, and today only so we need to do as much as we can. soil came out of our garden from that digger it was absolutely mental that was actually one of the biggest challenges was like knowing where to put it, it and what to do with it it was filling up so on the drive next thing i know we've got this massive crane thing coming down picking all the soil up and taking it away two weeks in and i'm like thinking what the hell is joe planned here once we had all the footings dug the next step was to fill it with concrete so that they make up the footings of the wall. So that's what we did the following weekend. That was not good weather, was it? No, that was not good weather. <laughs> Day four, maybe, of the garden renovation. Three or four. Today, Joe and his dad are mixing up the concrete and pouring it into the footing. Not really the weather for it. Pouring, like pouring, and they're still out there doing 
it in the concrete. After that day or morning of like doing the concrete, I was like in need of a beer. It was like bank holiday Monday. I'm like, I'm having a beer after that because I've earned that one. Yeah, you but definitely yeah. earned that one. So what we've done is basically where we've dug the trenches almost down, they were probably like half a meter deep and we had to fill them up with concrete so that it gives the a good base for the blocks to be laid onto them. Kind of see the shape of where the wall's gonna be. Yeah. You started to like get a feel for like where the wall was gonna go and yeah. like it just felt like you'd actually got somewhere at that point, didn't Definitely, it? Because for a yeah. couple of weeks it was just like we felt like the garden was just a complete state. Oh, and yeah. It was like we piles like, of mud everywhere and like <laughs> holes in the ground and it was just like it was not like I was I remember standing at the back door and I was like, what have I started? <laughs> As Joe mentioned, not only has his uncle got a digger which is very handy he also can lay bricks so the next weekend Joe's dad and his uncle managed to build the wall for us and yeah. that was just like the best point ever just putting a little side note in here I just want to say this garden renovation would not have been possible at all no. without your dad my dad and Joe's uncle so yeah. if you guys are watching this I bet they are going to be watching this thank you so much we are yeah. literally forever thank grateful Sunday evening, we've just been out for a roast dinner and I thought I'd give you a bit of an update as to what's happened in the garden because this weekend, as you would have seen, there's been a bit of, quite a bit of progress. Let me just take my hoodie off. There's been quite a bit of progress. The wall has been built and we've been, spent the weekend back. <laughs> Hello, Bethan. I haven't been in the vlog, really. Because <laughs> you haven't been doing any of your work, huh? I know. So yeah, we've been, we did the, the wall and we've been backfilling it this weekend. That has been filled up. We've got it up to a level where we can pretty much stand it. The patio is going to be coming up to this level. That side isn't quite done because we finished off this wall today. Once the wall was built, then we had to basically backfill it to bring it up to a level where we could then start to lay on. So I don't know if you guys remember our week day in the life video. <laughs> But there was a week where I found someone local and it was literally round the corner from where I work who were giving away like all a load of like hardcore like rubble, like concrete, bricks, that sort of thing. And it was just on their front garden and me and my dad were going back there every every night literally for like just a mound Monday of it, to Thursday. It? Yeah, it was literally a mound of like rocks and rubble. And we were filling up the trailer, driving it back, and then I was dumping it in basically on top of the slope and it was being retained by this new wall. That was proper handy, like Yeah. I I realised during this project that using Facebook Marketplace for stuff like this is yeah, an absolute so godsend. Good, wasn't it? Yeah. You were finding so much stuff Literally, on there like, like for free. I found like a whole ton of hardcore, six bags of cement, nearly two tons of sharp sand, and that was all free. Blocks, I got a Facebook Marketplace, which were, I think 180, I and they would have been them. like yeah, okay, almost seven or 800 pounds for them blocks. So he's like, I remember you waking me up at like, half six and you're like right at seven o'clock we're going to collect these blocks from like somewhere in the yeah. van and I was like it's 7 a.m on like a Monday morning yeah. but to be fair it was worth it it oh, saved so much saved money. So so much money so if you're doing a project like this before you go to any builders merchants look on Facebook guarantee someone will be given something that you need away. Right so we're in the van on our way to collect a load of uh, road chippings from uncles because he's got a load that his old neighbour left there so we're going to collect some of that just to get the levels up so that we don't have to use so much stuff that costs money. Yeah. Right guys, end of another day's work and I think that's going to be it for this weekend because everyone's a bit busy. But we've got all this hardcore, we've got this, this stuff to spread out, but this is all sort of hard standing ground now, ready to 
lay on top of, we just need to whack it down. We also done formed this step up, so this is just concrete and it's just being held up by these pieces of wood and blocks and whatever. So then once that's dry we take that off and then it'll be like a step and that'll start off the steps. We did want to move this fence today, but we just ended we didn't end up getting the chance. If you look over the fence, we have actually cut that out, which is gonna be the new line for the, where the fence is going to be um, but yeah it's definitely definitely taking more of a shape so yeah I'm happy with it happy with it today at this point we had to decide what we were going to do with the wall whether we were going to render it or what because because we couldn't render it after the patio slabs were down no I was just scrolling for Instagram and I see this this company this landscaping scaping company they'd done it in like a clad in like put like timber clad in so I yeah thought oh that'd be a good idea it looks really cool and it's like similar sort of style to what we've done in our bedroom panel in we'll, pe we'll pop a picture up yeah, of we'll it here and also we did ask people in the vlog whether they liked it yeah. didn't we that yeah. week yeah everyone was just like do clad in yeah so we were like yeah 100% let's do cladding. We're going to do the cladding, but that is going to come in part That's two, so make sure two. you come back for part two. We've had an exciting delivery. Bethan, do you want to come and have a look? The tiles that we're using on the patio have just arrived, and Matey has just delivered them onto the drive. So yeah, it was a bit windy. Yeah, he's delivered them around here. Bethan didn't even see him. He's delivered them around no, here. You can't see him. He can, in some of them. Oh my God, you can't so yeah, there it is. Looks well nice. Does look good. Love so yeah, there, there, there. <laughs> look, look how messy our drive is. This is actually not the worst it's been. So far it's literally just been stuff that we've heart, had delivered basically. and paying all this money for that you're never going to see again. Like everything that's out yeah. there now, you're never going to see. Exciting delivery. Watch this space. Back for the weekend. Yeah. Good morning everyone. Oh my God, I feel like I have not vlogged in a while i know joe's been kind of getting clips of everything that's been going on not really much used to them until they actually get the patio down so i've not really been around for the past couple of weeks i promised joe this weekend i would pick up the camera and also make sure that i'm actually around to like make them a cup of tea i've started the morning by heading over to co-op and grabbing them a brunch so i'm going to do them like a bit of a fry up and i think joe's mum's going to come and have a, it have it with us and i've also picked them up the essentials because Andy reminded me that we only had one tea bag left this morning and I made him a cup of tea. So I picked up some Yorkshire tea bags, Bourbon and custard creams. I like don't know which is my favourite out of these. Let me know in the comments below. Would you choose a custard cream or a Bourbon if you had to choose between? I'm heading towards Bourbon. I'll we'll take you outside really quickly and show you kind of the update on the garden so far. Andy was very kindly here yesterday, even when neither of us were here. Joe was at a wedding and I was at my mum's birthday party, but he's managed to move the fence back, get a feel for the size of our garden now, which is, the patio is absolutely massive. Like, I can't believe how big it is. So as you can see here, we have lost the fence and where Joe's standing is where the fence is gonna be. They've just been cutting up all the tarmac over there this morning. What's Imagine that? I'm a fence. Imagine you're a fence. <laughs> Literally. Just so you can get a real feel for it. Look at the size of that, it's actually ridiculous. Breakfast is served. <laughs> Breakfast. We've just got one of the slabs out. This is what it's gonna look like. Do you like it? Yeah, do you like it, Anne? Love it. Love it. <laughs> I really like it. The idea for the slabs was it kind of follows on from our living room. So if any of you guys have watched like our house tour before, you'll know what our living room floor looks like. If you haven't, like, then go like, back and watch, watch yeah, our tour. Most of our go, go back and watch the house tour when we first moved in. That was literally like last year now. You found them originally, didn't you? Yeah. You gave me like you gave me three options. And I picked these ones and 100% I think we made the right oh, choice yeah. with the slabs, do you? Uh, yeah. yeah. The next stage was we were moving the fence to open up the garden and we were losing a bit at the end of the drive, which was all tarmac. So we had to chop up the tarmac. Big job as well. Yeah, that was, and it was a noisy job. Like we were probably not our neighbour's favourite people at that no. point in time because it was like we had the kango and we were bashing away from Is that like, what it's called, a kango? Yeah. It's Kango. Or Kango or something like that, I don't know. Something like that. I actually looked at it and I was like, I kind of want to have a go. It's like a pneumatic <laughs> drill, basically. But I feel like it, I would probably have flown up into the sky. Picture like me, hard hat on, high-vis vest on. <laughs> Shut up. 
But yeah, <laughs> we your were... dad doing most of it. No, it work. wasn't. I was doing most of that. Yeah, it no, was. your dad was actually on the Kango for, for <laughs> probably too long because we didn't have any PPE. Like, health uh, and safety this, people here, do not judge us. This whole video, in fact, like, don't come at us because yeah. there was points where I was like, why are you why not wearing goggles, goggles and hard hats? It's to the end of the garden and have a look from down here. Wow, it's so different from down here, isn't it? I remember that day when you were out doing the tarmac, I went down to the bottom of the garden and I just couldn't believe how much bigger our garden looks yeah. just from I, taking crazy. that fence away. It made such a big difference. <laughs> Probably a bit loud, but I don't. I just supervise. That's my that's my job. My job is project manager. Come on, boys. Keep going. Boys and their toys, eh? At this point, we'd done all of like the put all the hardcore in and leveled all of the ground off, so it was like basically flat all the way up. And what we needed to do now was to rent the whacker plate to compact it all down, so it was like ready to lay on basically yeah so i hired one of those from a local uh, plant hire place and that cost about 50 pounds that's not to too hire. bad it's that's another one where our neighbors hated us another one yeah but that wouldn't take long to be fair that was a quick At this point in the job you need to make sure that you've got like a really flat base and it's compacted down so it doesn't move and you haven't got lumps and bumps in it together <laughs> i think this is the first time we've been together in this video yeah are you reckon? close together? Oh, I'm knackered. I'm proud Man's of you. knackered. It's looking good. It's, it's it is now. looking good. Today has been rained off because, well, not rained off completely. We have managed to get the gate in and the fence post done. Look how wet my hair is. I'm drenched. Basically, we've, we've poured the concrete in this step, the top step. So that's done. Um, that was the wet part. And then we've got the fence, the gate, hung point carrying on if you're just standing under waiting for the rain to stop because by the time it does stop it's going to be time to finish anyway so yeah we'll catch up with you tomorrow where we will actually be laying the slabs but then me and Beth's dad can form the other steps and get them poured comment below if you've ever had to be outside working in the rain like we have twice in this project <laughs>
barbecue area. I wanted like a grain in the patio because yeah. if you can look like feel like when it gets dirty it won't be as noticeable as where a lot of the newer ones you can see like every yeah, little... when it's like really like plain like sort of light yeah, colour any dirt any like shows dirt, up and obviously we're not going to want to wash it down every day so so yeah there's a step there which step wasn't there, there originally that wasn't there at all was no. it and then obviously this space here is like all reclaimed from the drive yeah so we literally had the fence if you remember yeah. like there we had like the little Cross path there. that went around here and then the steps going down there to the shed. But now, I'll go down the bottom and show. Just feels good to have it like done so it's usable, don't it? Yeah. Because like the it last- It feels massive as well. It does. My friend's done this. She's got a business um, setting up these like picnic and kind of party table layouts and honestly how nice is that, it's so nice, she's even put parasol up. Was it worth the wait? Was it worth was us it worth the wait? waffling about it for all this time? Now you've seen it, do you think it was worth the wait? Part two is gonna be a lot more of the aesthetic. Yeah. We've got the cladding to come, we've got the plants to come, we've got to get furniture. We'll keep you updated and we'll give you maybe a few little sneak, sneak peeks, peeks over yeah. on our Instagram. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already, drop it a like. Subscribe. I'm sure you have at this point. Our camera battery is literally gonna die, so this is the perfect time to say goodbye. Bye. Peace.